I'm moving home. This is scary. Uh, hi, if you don't know me, my name is Jada. And I've been doing this channel since I was 14 years old, on and off. And I started it, as you can see, in my family home, where I was raised for almost my entire life. And at the age of 20, or by the time you guys see this, I will be 21, I will have moved out. And ironically, into my best friend's home. I'll explain, just give me a minute. So, today's date is the 19th of August 2021. And a couple of days ago, so on the 16th, I got a message from my friend Erin saying how her parents were moving out of their home at the end of the year. And she was wondering if I wanted to move in with her. I, of course, said yes. And it's nerve wracking, it's scary. There's a lot to think about and a lot to do before the new year, but I'm excited. I struggle a lot with my identity and who I am, and in particular, I struggle a lot with seeing myself as a fully responsible person. I don't have a full-time or part-time job, and I feel like I haven't changed since I was, you know, in my teens, like mid to early teens. My, you know, even just like a personal note, like my acne has gotten worse, um, and didn't really have that much acne as a kid. And now I have a lot more, you know, something as simple as that to still doing the same things. My life hasn't changed. I don't take risks and I'm a very quiet person. So I'm taking a big risk and moving out. I'm excited because I'm going to be with Erin and she's been my best friend ever since we were six years old. So I have a lot of trust in her and I'm going to be moving out with her and two other people as well. Still deciding on who, but we'll get there. Oh, my legs bro, we're getting old. Let me move this. <laughs> I'm so nervous, holy shit. Obviously, it is up to you and when you decide to move out, if you do move out of home. Um, when I told my parents, they were in a state of shock. Half of, you know, one expected me to stay until I at least finished my second degree that I'm applying for. The other one didn't expect me to move out for a long time. But I need to do this for myself because I need to know if I can be an independent person or not. I need to know. I, I just need to know. I need to know that I'm good enough. Not only for myself, but for my future self. And whoever I end up with in the future. I've been thinking a lot this past year, just this year in general, on who I am and how I've at all of those things. I'm a person that did a lot of tests on people and I, I'll explain it in a different video. This is about me moving. But um, I'm really excited. I'm just very nervous. Obviously, I've never moved house before. So, and especially I'm going to be moving. Luckily, not too far away. It's nerve-wracking. By the time I have finished moving, I will have gotten a degree, turned 21, be living with my best friend, and hopefully, fingers crossed, have another job. These are all things that I aspired to do when I was like 15. I wrote myself a plan of what I wanted to do within the next- oh no, I would have been older. Essentially what I wanted to do by the end of 2022. I wanted to have a job, hopefully another one, either thought of my future plans or something along those lines. We've gotten a tattoo, which I haven't gotten and to be happier mentally. I'm working on it and that's really scary. I'm a little bit nervous as I think anyone should be but we won't know until the next step. So this is me, 19th of August 2021. Let's see what happens next. Hi, it is the 3rd of September 2021. I just thought I'd kind of give a bit of an update on the moving situation and all that stuff. So essentially the plan is is that I'm still moving out uh, end of the year if not early next year kind of depending on how honestly life kind of treats me um <laughs> see if it's shit or not but i've just been kind of doing some like room design ideas and i've been trying to like get stuff organized i've even been kind of just getting some things um not a whole lot of things so like for example uh my grandfather passed away recently and he had a lot of books that I quite liked and I wanted to read. So my grandmother gave them to me. So she's giving me a bunch of like mixture of history books and like MI16, MI15. I know numbers. Let me have a quick look. Um, MI15 and MI14. I always forget. MI16, MI15 books. Uh, Roman Empire. So I have a fascination with that. World history. Neapolitan. Winston Churchill. The Second World War. You know. And then this one which she just thought was hilarious which is the basic black and white cookery book for bachelors um it's literally god knows how old this is this is old as though 1989 is when my grandfather got this 
So that will be used. So yeah, it's just been a lot of like trying to figure out different things, cultivating lists, figuring out what I need for the room, dimensions, working on that stuff, figuring out what I'm taking with me, what I'm not. Obviously I have heaps more to kind of go in terms of months, but there's a lot of little things that need to be figured out so that when it comes to the actual day, I don't freak the fuck out um, because I will do that. So a lot of you are probably wondering, well, what's going to happen when it comes to YouTube? Because obviously when I had a, when I'm at home, I have this big old, like my own study and YouTube space, which looks like shit right now. Not the point. So it's going to change a lot in what I do because obviously I'm not going to be able to have a full space of my own and I need to make sure that I am thinking about my roommates and having space space for them, not being too loud, etc, etc. Still gonna do d d just have to change it a little bit, work some things out with that. Um, I'm still gonna do podcasts because they're only audio based so I don't have to worry about like cameras and shit like that. And then it just be kind of more like vlog stuff like this. So nothing really will change too much. I'm hoping I can be able to film some gaming videos. It will just be more things that I used to do will still be kind of the same but just kind of progress it differently. So we will hopefully still have some like video videos like this but they might be a bit different or new people you know how my life is it's very chaotic so I want to try and emulate that as much as possible but yeah back to moving stuff as you can see my brain is all over the place working shit out as I go lot to do lot to figure out um but it's going good I think I got a record player for my grandmother she bought it for me for my birthday you can kind of see my birthday's coming up I will be 21 on the 28th of September. Hi. So that'll be exciting. And then I'll have my birthday party soon. So that's gonna be a lot. Um, a lot of good things happening. So this is just a little update in the moving vlog. Hey yo, what's the moving update? It is December 13th, currently almost 4 p.m. I have done fuck all today, but I've been moving more and more stuff over. So these boxes have slowly been emptied. I bring them back when things are going across. My room is starting to be more and more emptied. I just bought paint actually for my room very recently so it's nothing too grand it's just white i figured out what bed frame i want so we're gonna buy that soon i just thought i'd give a quick little update on that i got these like little monitor holders because you know i mean i was using this and it's trying to bend and it looks really shitty and i want to look i want it to look good essentially because this computer is going to be shared with four other people so not only does it need to look good for me it needs to look good for them too so I'm still nervous, still very excited. Um, it's coming up really soon. Any time essentially from the beginning of new of the new year onwards. Any time from January 1st onwards, I can move in. So very scary. Um, yeah, I guess I will catch you in the next update. Hello, hello, hello. It is December 30th, 2021. It is the day before New Year's Eve. And we did a bit of Chris Christmas, wow. Um, we did a bit of house shopping today, so basically I got some sheets for my bed, I got some fabric, and we finally picked out the bed that I wanted. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we'll get that next week. I'm also painting my room next week. There's just a little, like, update, I guess, and what's happening in the move out blog. Um, lots gonna happen within the next month. It's just gonna be, like, hit after hit after hit. So I'm already exhausted, um, but I think it should go well. Fingers crossed everything's okay. Just a matter of moving stuff. I'm gonna show you actually what it currently looks like at the moment because at the current moment in time, we are packing up most of the stuff in the office because this is like the most is in here, friendly enough. So we've got like the box there, boxes there, box down there, boxes up here. That stuff is ready to move over. So basically my plan is to get stuff semi-ready, paint the room, then move all my shit over. There's a lot to move. Um, the only thing that I need to move from my room is like my clothes and the bookshelf. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's not a whole lot. So a bit stressed that I have more stuff than I do room, but we should be a-okay because like the figures are going to go in the library. The um, record player I can be out with everyone, that's fine. My d d stuff can kind of go on a shelf. I have a designated shelf for that already set up. This is office stuff. This is roomy stuff here. This, I already don't remember what's in here. That's also office stuff. Books I need to go on the shelf, um, plus some spare candles. Bedroom, bedroom, miscellaneous, wherever. So, 
And then once that's done, I also get to then take the computer with me. So I think only one monitor is coming with me. I have to double check, but probably just the one monitor because we don't really need to. Um, yeah, lots of move and we're getting really close to moving deadlines. So it is 2021, we're getting into 2022. Check on the crew. Oh. <laughs> How <are you> doing? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fucking change your life to a flat. Thank you. 